This video is part of the course that is build reports with Jasper Reports, Java and Spring Boot. Link for this course is given in the description. Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will create the fields and we'll assign its value from our Java application. Okay. So for that, we use data source and we'll pass the fields value as list of bin. Say for example, any class, POJO class you can take. Okay. So say for example, here we want to pass students detail. Okay. Student ID, first name, last name, state, city. Okay. So what I did in our Java application is that I created one simple class. Okay. Student.java having this five fields. Okay. So these are the five fields and here we have these five columns. Okay. ID, first name, last name, street and city. So that fields I created and constructor and getters and setters. So what will happen? We will pass the objects okay, of the student inside the error list and that will appear over here in the format of tabular data. Okay. So say for example, if we are passing the error list of 10 student objects, okay, basically containing the details of 10 students, then here it will appear in 10 different rows. So that's what we are going to do. So let's start by creating the fields. So here you will see a couple of fields are already present because when we created this report right using the template we created these fields if you remember we selected from left window to right window okay so let me delete this one okay we will create it again this i am deleting now same way we created parameter we will create the field okay create field here you need to right click and create field okay so this has been created right click show properties so here data type for id field is type of long okay so as i already said right for parameters and fields we need to stick to the data type that is coming from our java application okay in case of parameter we set it as a string because we are passing this value string okay so here inside our bean okay whatever pojo class you are using okay what is the data type okay i want to bind this fields value okay this variables value from my this class to this field okay so let me give any name okay id but make sure you are giving the same as your variable name okay id if you do any mistake say for example you are doing uppercase it will not work so whatever your variable name you need to give it okay id let me change the data type to long because this variable id inside the this pojo class is type of long okay save it same way let's create other so let's go quickly so this will be first name if you don't want to do any mistake you can copy paste okay data type will be string because here we have first name data type is string okay save it now let's go for another one so properties this one is last name type of string this will be street type of string and the last one is type of string that is our city okay so whatever data type you have for this field okay you need to check inside your pojo class or whatever class you are using and make sure you are using the same data type for the field so now we have five fields okay so this is one text field okay now we know right how to set the parameter to the text field now we will set the fields value to text field so right click on the text field so properties text field and here you see this is dollar f that means this is the field indicating inside the curly braces this is the field name okay but we deleted this field now okay so let's change it to id that's what we created now right so here you will see the second fields okay so this is the five fields as of now we created okay double click on it or manual you can type okay dollar f for field inside the braces the name of the field click on the finish manually also you can type over here okay so what happens we will pass the list of student from our java application okay so it can contain one object of student or many right so on each iteration basically each 
value of the student object will contain some value for this id variable that will come to this column and it will be keep changing for each and every row because it will change the object of student that is coming inside the array list that is type of student okay now the same thing we need to do for this four fields okay so let's do this quickly because we have already fields in hand okay so text field this is the first name we want to bind okay for last name this is the field street this is the field and city you need to make sure okay whatever is your column accordingly you are putting the value for your text field using the field with help of expression okay say for example if you are using this id field okay to this field this text field okay using the expression then what will happen on each and every row id fields value will come inside the first name column okay so these are the five text fields and we assigned a fields value whatever is coming from our java application to respective fields okay these are five text fields okay so we assign the values okay to the respective text field now to have this tabular data okay we just need to pass the array list that is type of student class that's it other things this fields will take care for us okay the jasper report using this fields will assign the values on each and every row okay so this is our student.java so let's create one object over here okay say student1 let's pass okay id1 okay, raj last name joshi street happy street city is delhi now let's create another student okay so let me copy this this is our student 2 okay okay so let's not mix up the parameters value and fields value over here okay let me take another first name okay peter and smith okay any street and say mumbai so now we have two students details okay so actually we want to display two rows inside this okay in the format of tabular data inside our report over here so let's create one list type of student now we need to put these two objects inside the list okay so list dot add student 1 and student 2 now our list of student is ready okay but to pass this list okay we need to use jr bin collection data source okay so jr bin collection data source so this is our data source okay let's create the new object so here if you see okay then this constructor is accepting collection and that's what we want to pass right list let me break down to this new line okay so this is our data source we have two students we put inside the list of student and that we are passing to jasper report using this jr bin collection data source class okay so this is the object we have so now from our java application we have placed a parameters value we have this fields value as well okay so we are ready with this okay so now in the next lecture we will build and we will export our report in the format of pdf if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends
Do you want to create reports from your Java and Spring Boot application? If yes, then I am having complete course that is build reports with Jasper reports, Java and Spring Boot. Let me show you the report that you will be able to create after completing this course. So this is basically a student report card and this is the report in the format of PDF. So in this course, you will learn how to have image in your report and how to have this kind of label in the report and text field. This value will come from your Java and Spring Boot application. You will learn how to have data in the table format and how to make some of particular column values using Jasper variable. You will also learn to sort particular column values. You will learn how to have this kind of page footer where you can display current page out of total number of pages. Charts are very useful to summarize your data in the report. So in this course, you will learn how to have this kind of pie chart and 3D bar chart in your report. In this course, you will learn to export this kind of report in different formats like PDF, HTML and Microsoft Excel. You will learn to create this kind of report from your Java and Spring Boot application. So what are you waiting for? Link for the course is given in the description. Just click on that link and start creating reports from your Java and Spring Boot application. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.